What is going on guys? Suddeth 2, and we have Suddeth 1 over here on his phone. Uh, we are back with another GTR video. All right, so the throttle position sensor right here, um, it reads a little lower on our MFD, and it doesn't always throw the throttle position like it does in the V-Spec. So we're giving it like half throttle, and it says we're only giving it like 8% throttle. So something might be off with that. So we're gonna swap that out first. That's one of the cool things about the R34s is that they have the multifunction display in the center console. It tells you throttle position, uh, injector duty cycle, stuff like that. So. so that's the one thing we're gonna do just to see if maybe it's not reading the ECU right, the throttle position, and that could be throwing the, uh, the map off, you know, for the, the gas. Um, but So first thing we're gonna do is get these off. off to the side. So now that that's off to the side, we have easy access to everything, every little bolt, and uh, go ahead and get this taken out here. All right guys, so we uh, just swapped. This is off of the black car, and we did a little bit of testing, and I wanted to figure out what's going on. So we go in, all right, and we go ahead and just turn on the ignition. And we're gonna look at the MFD. Now this is where I was telling you earlier if it um, tells us the throttle position sensor. Now I need to get this screen replaced and I just haven't done it yet. So as you can see, it's at 0% throttle. And if I give it throttle, nice slippers there. It shows the throttle percentage, right? So 80, zero. And before when you would be giving it half throttle, it would just start dying and you would see the uh, throttle go from like, 20 to zero, so I don't know. But as far as the uh, car goes, this throttle position sensor seems like it's working fine. So what that only makes me believe is that the electrical could be causing the issue, shorting that out or not working correctly. Now the other thing that's really weird, but this one is a little weird. So as you can see, I'm gonna put this in, get this to come on. Nice screen there, no issues. The throttle only goes up to 40% and I am smashed to the floor where the other car went up to 100. So I don't know if this is not calibrated correctly, um, but yeah, so it only goes up to like 40% and if Mike pulls on it a little bit, it actually can go up to like 50%, but that's full throttle. So I don't know what's going on with that, but it, this is the good throttle position sensor and it's not, dying at all. So um, there's my turbo timer, so that's why it's beeping. So got to figure some stuff out here. Um, gonna go ahead and figure this out. So I don't know, we'll keep you guys up to date. All right. All right, guys, so we're going to show you guys what I'm talking about with the throttle. So we're going to start the car up here. Zero throttle. All right, guys. So we ended up fixing the uh, 40 to 55%. Um, it ended up right. needing just a slight adjustment on the throttle cable. So we ended up doing that. And now we got throttle. full open nice throttle. And we also uh, are going to show you how to calibrate the throttle position sensor here in just a moment. And what we have going on here is a throttle position sensor now right here that is on top. Boom, boom. And what was happening with the uh, R34 is we noticed it was slightly off. Uh, it wasn't reading properly and we kind of came to look at the angle. Now, one thing we learned is that if you angle this up or down, the angle of it can affect the throttle position voltage and uh, also the position. So what we're gonna do is show you real quick how to, once you have it angled properly, uh, it will be able to be uh, calibrated, calibrated on so, the MFD. So 
what you're going to need to do is turn on the ignition, not uh, just so that your car's actual lights turn on, right? And everything primes. Your display is going to come up, but you have to do a couple button combinations. Now, currently we've already recalibrated it, so now zero is zero and 100 is 100. Before, it would only go up to 55 and stop. So um, what you need to do is turn off the car. You're going to press the return and the mode at the same time. Then you're going to turn the car ignition on. So you're going to turn it all the way on to the on position right before. So you're going to turn it on. Now, once you see the GTR logo, you're pressing uh, hold down and then you let go. But you have to press this five times as the GTR screen comes on. So you're going to hold these down, let go, press this five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now, we'll do that again real quick in uh, real time. So hold these down, turn the car on. Once you see the GTR logo, you're going to press the button five times. Boom. Now you're in the diagnostic mode. So this screen right here is the do not touch throttle. So you're going to basically not press the gas pedal here. You don't press it at all. And then you're going to press the enter. Now you're going to put it all the way down. So push the gas all the way down and then press this while it's all the way down. Press that in. And now you have the screen. And on the last screen, you are going to see this here, zero and 100 throttle. And that's how you know you did it correctly. If you have zero throttle, it should show zero. And 100 throttle should show 100. And if you give it half throttle and so forth. So it is working. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please slap a like on it and subscribe if you guys are new. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers currently at around 97. 111 so uh, if you guys are new to the channel you know turn on those post notifications and uh, let us know what you guys want to see coming up here soon also getting some big breaks on the r34